what's up guys yeah i'm slow here and i got an update video for you guys right now i'm driving towards solo turbo five months i've done a lot of things to this car maintenance wise i did the transmission fill and drain which is i drained my old fluid filled it up with new fluid and changed the filter which i should have just done a flush but i feel like after this it like revived the motor and the trans like the car feels like it has more power and stuff like that but that also could be due to the fact that when i drained it it only had two and a half bottles of fluid like able to fill up but the trans itself is supposed to have three and a half you believe that i was missing like a whole quart of tranny fluid you already know throw it in sport <laughs> stock cat made this car a little faster than running the plm one so i did show you guys why i'm getting my timing done valve adjustment all that i know you guys hear that ticking that's pretty much why so ever since the last couple of times you guys seen me got it the engine intake it also has the option to make it a cold air i eliminated this vacuum line that goes from here to here i put a little breather filter on there for the exhaust so much more quiet right now with the rubber medallion oh it used to be the tanabe uh, medallion now it's the Exhaust going to the test pipe, and the test pipe is going to the stock cap. You got to see right there. I'll try to get on the ground for you. Yeah, never mind. That's not gonna work. Um, well, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what I've done. Also, got to get rid of that dent. Coming soon. Got scratches here. I fought it with it like that. See that? Read them my trunk setup. Also had my boy Randy go from Orlando to Miami to pick up the one in a lifetime deal. What I'm telling you, one in a lifetime. I got a Medulla rear bumper, original, because they don't make replicas, for a hundred and fifty dollars. So the name is Randy. Three hours. Damn near 3,000 miles. Let's get this guy's bumper. Let me know if I'm a good friend. Off of a Pardo. 
So compared to a brand new one, a brand new one six hundred dollars. That is a deal of a lifetime. I'm never gonna get a deal like that ever again. So six hundred plus the shipping, anything like all that, it would be like seven hundred dollars. I got it for one fifty. But now I gotta figure out how to get it from Orlando back up here to New York. That's gonna be the only hard part, but other than that, that was a deal of a lifetime. All right, guys, so it's about, I dropped off the car on Monday. It's Saturday, I got my car back last night. Actually, no, it's Sunday. I got my car back yesterday, which was Saturday. Everything feels amazing. Car feels brand new. He even went the extra mile and painted my oil pan and my timing cover. I'll show you guys some pictures right now. So I know a lot of people have been asking me for a bigger update and the update is on this thing right here. This radio. I have a couple of things to say about this radio. One, every couple of like startups, it'll fully reset itself. What I mean fully reset itself, uh, let me just show you guys. Turn on the car real quick. Let's see if you guys can see it real quick. Look what time it is. 4.58. 4.58. This is 4.58. Right here, 4.58 p.m. Let's see. It says it's 9... September 13, 2022. That's trash. It's supposed to at least keep up to date. The only way you can reset it is if you connect to someone's Wi-Fi or you manually put it in yourself. That's one. Two, it can be, it has no freaking way for you to adjust the brightness. So as bright as it is right now, is it as bright as it is during the day? I mean at night, sorry. So imagine you at night driving and this thing is shining in your face. It lights up the whole front of the car. Like, if you're sitting in the back, you see the light all over the whole thing. It's one. The audio is great. The, like, if you connect to Wi-Fi, the YouTube, Netflix works fine. Um, it, it makes the audio, like, the ELS sound system sounds so much better. When I play CarPlay, I raise the volume because it has its own separate volume. I raise it up to 30. It's the best thing ever. Uh, another thing I hate when I want to go into reverse every time i have to click into the aux app every time so i have to leave carplay so let's say for example i'm in carlink right which is carplay i'm in here i have to swipe down and go to the home just so i can go to the aux and it'll show me the camera that is the absolute worst thing ever um i, I honestly i think i just didn't connect it right honestly I think there's something wrong there, but I did have to uh, wire in an aftermarket um, camera. Another thing that I have, guys, another update is my next video that you guys are gonna see probably next week. I got a full speaker upgrade for the entire car. We're talking the front dash, the tweeters, the doors, the back doors, and then the whole rear deck. So sub and the two speakers back there. I'm gonna make a tutorial video for you guys because I cannot find one at all for every single car. So I got you guys, don't worry about that. And that's it for this update video. I'll see you guys in the next one. So that's all for the video. I hope you guys like, share, subscribe, comment any questions you have down below, and I'll see you in the next one.